final speaker for this evening is passionate about making a change. She's grown up in Danoon and has seen firsthand all the crime and devastation that comes with living in a township. She's here tonight to speak out as a 13-year-old female. Please welcome our final speaker, Shami. from Cape Town City Central. It has a population of 45,000 people in Anwanabu. Actually, I am more than that. I am more than just a statistic. I am a voice, a voice that deserves to be heard. My name is Shemir and I'm going to tell you exactly what happens inside of my township to do. If you would like to come and visit me, it is easily to accessible from the My City Bus Road. If you are local, you can just catch a taxi. When the norm was first established, it was only thought to accommodate 20,000 people. What 55 of us now living here, that's 35 overcrowded. The norm is struggling to sustain those 55,000 people. There's drainage system overflow, toilets are overcrowded, and there's not enough water tips for us all. About to house those thousands of families of a population in the room. Gangs are common in the room. And when you have 55,000 people living in such a small space, people fight and argue. Come on, next time in the room, and you'll soon see how outside the room is. Stabbings, murders, and rapes are just common events where I love. However, Every day in the room, a child don't come home from school. Women are being sexually assaulted walking home from work. And men never return to their families. But we never see this reported on the news. We never get out. In South Africa, one in four girls will be sexually assaulted before the age of 18. One in six boys will be sexually abused. There's a statistic taken from children who aren't living in the township. Who aren't living in the township. Well, I've always dreamed about changing my community, but I never got the chance. And I feel like I can do it. We aren't safe in the room. Every five hours, a child disappeared. 23% of those children are never to be found again. Again, I'm left wondering what our hopes living in a township. I think the police, if we call them, they do come, but they don't actually help us. They take the they take your statement and tell you that they, they, they will try the best, but it doesn't really help. I've watched a movie, Glamorous, just like a fiction, where, where the stepfather was raping a daughter while the mom was sleeping. But in the moon, it becomes someone's reality. So, why are we treated this way? This is my community, my friends and my family. Why are we treated like nothing? It's time for us to do, it's time for us to stand up and just not think about anybody, but just to say that we need to save our community. And I refuse to give up until it is. Thank you. Oh.